Welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about patterns. Um, the different kinds you will encounter from books to magazines to online. So I just want to start off with uh, reference books. So I have this one, Learn to Crochet, a quick start guide. And these little reference books are really nice. Um, I'm not going to show the patterns. But I'm going to show you what they go over. So most everything you're going to pick up is going to uh, have little drawings of the basic stitches that you'll be using in that book. Or in the patterns included in the collection that you were looking at. So these reference books are really nice in case you walk away from something and don't remember a particular stitch. And these reference ones are really nice because they will walk you through a couple of patterns and show you how to use the different stitches and what you should be seeing so far. The pattern will also tell you, the. I'll show you a picture, not all of them, but most of them do, uh, what yarn they recommend and the crochet hook size and any additional supplies that you will need. And then it will go over the uh, pattern itself. So that's a reference book. Mm, let's try let's try this book right here. A pattern book. So I've used this one. A lot of the pattern books will be either the beginning or the end. It'll go over crochet basics. And it will go over how to do the different stitches assuming that you don't know how to. And the illustrations are usually really nice. They also tell you what the abbreviations stand for. And then any other special stitches. Bobbles and puff stitches and popcorns. So in this book it's in the back, but in this book it's in the front, along with the different projects included. The level of the pattern from beginner to a challenge. It also gives you some nice tips about yarn, stitch markers, stuffing, hooks. Some of them will even have uh, specific vendors that they that they recommend. And here are the basic stitches. A nice diagram. In words and then in pictures. Other techniques. Okay. So this one's a four. This can tell you what materials they recommend. Size C crochet hook. So whenever doing with soft toys, amigurumi, you are going to want to use the smallest hook that you are comfortable with, because the larger the hook the larger that these little spaces in between the stitches will be. And you don't want that because you don't want to see the stuffing inside. So amigurumi with worsted weight yarn, you're going to want to use at least, a, at the very least, an F. Um, but you can go all the way down to a C as you saw in this particular book. It goes the same, I'm sorry, I moved the camera again. With this one, different projects, the basic stitches, crochet hooks, well sometimes even go under, uh, go over the um, different yarns. Okay, so I don't want to show these patterns since they are pay for patterns. So this one, it'll tell you the oversize, overall size. So it's actually recommending a G hook. I'd be a little hesitant to use a G-hook, um, but that's just my comfort level. Um, if you're just starting out, then by all means use a larger hook so you can see what you're doing. 
Um, okay, so here's another book. This one was given to me by my mother. She got it at a Savers, I think. A thrift store. Materials, experience level, finish size, anything with wraps or shawls. Um, those will require larger crochet hooks because that's just the style of the of the garment. And at the end, at the very back of this book, you will see abbreviations and your basic stitches. And then special things and buyer's guide. So recommended yarn or supplies. Let's move on to magazines. So I have two magazines here primarily to remind me that there are two, you will encounter two different types of patterns. It's going to be US versus UK. So the only difference is the UK's stitches are off by one. So it looks like US double crochet is actually US single crochet. So you're just going to have to uh, look up a, a pattern or um, a conversion chart. It's really simple. So uh, UK's double crochet is a single crochet. Uh, half double is a half treble is a half double. A treble is a double. So you uh, just be easier to look up a conversion chart. But most patterns will let you know if it is um, a UK. If it's UK symbols or abbreviations. Okay. So here's a magazine at the end you'll see yarn. You will see the different levels, beginner to challenging, the abbreviations, and the stitch chart. As somebody reminded me last week, if you're going to be copying the patterns in, in magazines, always make sure to copy the chart in the back because there might be a special stitch that's, uh, that's not laid out within the pattern itself but referenced in the stitch guide. So this is UK. Um, so and here's theirs. And then here's their chart. So their charts look different. That is not what an America or a US chart. Those are not the symbols that we use. but it will tell you how to do the different stitches. So, so we've covered books and magazines. So I want to briefly uh, go over uh, printed patterns. This is the latest one. Where's my first? I have three binders. Here's the first one. So these are all printed. I find the majority of mine on, on Ravelry. Um, and I'll just show you some of the free ones. So this one actually came from Joann's. Instructables. So I have them all in a binder. This binder, this particular binder came from uh, Walmart and these little sleeves came from Walmart as well. 50 for like, what, $3, two, $3 of these uh, page protectors. That's one binder, and I have another binder. I won't go through both of them. They're kind of huge. And this is the latest binder, which I've just started. Uh, the spring tote that I mentioned in one of my other videos. I also wanted to show you this pattern. So some of the patterns that you um, will be taking off online, it's going to show you the title, who designed it, materials that they use, the size that it ended up, any special stitches or abbreviations, and then it's just going to go right into the pattern. I wanted to show you this one because this one came with a chart. Now if you can read charts, this is an extremely valuable tool. I like charts when it comes to shawls because you can never really um, 
sometimes fully understand the written. I mean, it's there, but you but you may be confused whether it all goes in one stitch or if it goes in that stitch or whatever stitch it goes in. So these charts are pretty much invaluable. So these are American, these are US symbols. And they are slightly different from the UK. I don't know how detailed I want to go into this right now, but I'm, I'll do another separate video on the charts themselves. But once you start learning to do charts and you do all these shawls and stuff, it is tremendously more easier. Um, and the last thing I wanted to show was this. I've been writing patterns recently, and I just thought this was fun. This is where I write my patterns. I got this from Hobby Lobby with my 40% off coupon. And it's just a fun way to write my patterns. Um, and I think it, I find it a lot easier and a lot more, I don't know, I want to say fun again, to write patterns on something with, you know, a bright, bright, sparkly background. I mean, just have fun with it. But this is where I've been writing my patterns, writing notes. And you, just, you can just use a dollar notebook for this too. So that's what I wanted to cover today. I'll cover charts next time. Um, but go find yourself some patterns, try some stuff out. After charts, I'll probably go over a swatch with you, but look for some stuff, some fun stuff, some easy patterns that you want to try. There are tons out there. Like I mentioned, this came from a craft store, uh, thrift store, and these came from a craft store. Um, you can buy them online. I got the, my Zumagurumis and my Amagurumi on Amazon for... I don't know, $10, and it has a lot, and you can uh, modify patterns too. Once you get to be experienced, uh, modifying patterns are really pretty easy. It's just finding the cor correct hook with the uh, yarn that you want to use. Um, so it's really pretty easy. I hope this was helpful, um, and I will go over some extra stuff next time. Other than that, thanks for joining me. Bye.